Hello brothers and sisters. So aliens. Okay, we, we need to make a video at some stage where we really delve into this. I can let you know just how weird I am and, and what I think and believe about these things. So we'll, we'll get into that soon. I just first want to keep focusing on that 2030 timeline that I'm working on. This article, again, is just pushing the world towards the explanation for what happened after the rapture. Las Vegas police capture live UFO sighting on body cam with locals claiming they saw eight foot high aliens walking about freely through backyards. Fascinating story coming out of Las Vegas. The police body cams recorded the UFO soaring across the skies. These videos are online. And according to the audio, they were shaken by what they saw. Not only that, Local Las Vegas residents said they saw men, a minimum of eight foot high, walking through backyards. Approximately 39 minutes after the initial UFO overflight, a man who lives 80 miles from Area 51 made a chilling call to 911, saying that there were two unknown entities in his backyard after he and his family saw the object fall from the sky. There's an eight foot person beside it and another one is inside and it has big eyes and it is looking at us. It's still there. The homeowner told police dispatch. They're very large. They're eight foot, nine foot, ten foot. They look like aliens. Big eyes, big eyes. I can't explain it. And a big mouth. They're shiny eyes. They're not human. They're a hundred percent not human. What they are is Nephilim, Anakim, the offspring of fallen angels. And again, like I said, we'll get into this in a separate video. And all I'm going to tell you right now, for those of you who balk against that kind of information, especially coming from a pastor, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the end, except for, saith the Lord, anything to do with giants and all those kind of offsprings and men of renown of that time. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says, as it was, so shall it be. So if you accept the Nephilim and the giants and all those great renowned men of old and the offspring and the evil that they did, all that stuff's coming back. Now, if you compare that time to this time and you compare the fruit of these alien encounters, the fear and the horror and the things that these people testify of. You're dealing with Nephilim, Anakim, offspring of fallen angels and man back again. And what are half these stories they tell you about the aliens, about breeding projects and mutilations. And it's evil. It's literal evil from the pit of hell. And it's making a comeback fast. Why? Because it's preparing for Daniel's 70th week. So again, might be shocking, but uh, th that's my opinion. And uh, we can get into it in a set video at some stage. But right now, they are preparing the world by pushing out more and more articles. And again, by specifying police body cams. They're trying to legitimize this in people's minds that this is just not some crazy guy who's got dreams or fantasies or freaky ideas. This is actual law enforcement with level heads that are supposed to know what they're talking about, that are testifying about these things as being real. We, however, have no fear. I've always said, uh, if they come close enough to me, I will command them in the name of Jesus. They mustn't try me. I'll take their ship and <laughs> sell it on eBay. Uh, they mustn't look for trouble. I walk with Christ, not with spirits and demons. So have no fear. Keep looking up. Keep shaking your head at this crazy world as it spirals deeper and deeper into darkness. And pray and shine your light brightly so that we can make a difference and snatch as many as we can while we can. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.